Hi, it's Jim at Better Photo here, and I want to tell you a quick story. There was a professor who divided his photography class into two groups. One group, he said, you are going to be graded solely on the quantity of photos you produce. The more photos you produce in that semester, the more likely you'll get an A in that class. The other half, he told them, you'll be graded solely on the quality of one amazing photo that you turn in at the end of the class. Can you guess what happened? The group that was called the quantity group produced far more outstanding photos because as they worked, they continually learned. They tried things out, they experimented, they got feedback and they learned and they continue to grow and produce better and better photos. The second group striving to create that one perfect photo floundered. They put too much time into theorizing and trying to come up with the perfect solution. Have you ever had that happen for yourself? When we get in our heads and we overanalyze, we tend to produce less great works. So I have an invitation for you this month. I want to invite you to produce as many photos as you can. I also am here to share with you that we have finished the judging for the most recent Better Photo monthly contest. And I wanna just share some of the amazing results and give congratulations to the awesome photographers at Better Photo who produce such fun photos and beautiful photos and creative photos. And so many of these winning photos were by photographers who entered so many photos into the contest. So my challenge to you for the next 30 days is very simple. Double your output or even triple it. Come up with your own measure of how much more you want to shoot and how much more you want to enter into the contest. If you usually just enter, say, one photo, <clears throat> which you do two or five or ten, do what you can to enter more so that you can produce more great works. Here are a few of just the favorite photos that I had out of this group. They were all so beautiful. But this photo by Kai Kai Win is amazing and beautiful. And he produced so many awesome photos in the contest. It was very hard for the judges to narrow it down. This one by Ann Coates is so sweet. And she too had so many great photos. Here we have Deborah Lewinson, and isn't this a charming image? And again, many photos entered into the contest. Jeff Robinson, I mean, I just smile when I see this photo. And, and uh, again, he had so many. Uh, I love this image of this turtle. This was in our uh, Photoshop techniques category, and it's just charming. Stephanie did a great job on that one. And here's another prolific photographer at Better Photo, Terry Servi, produces so many great photos. And the key is she works so hard to produce a lot of photos and continually learn. And oh man, I just love Kitty Kono's photography. And this one is, is just a great capture where you can just see the sweetness of that subject. And again, many, many photos submitted. So take a look at the Better Photo contest winners. This is for the August contest. The judges just wrapped it up last night. And this grand prize winner by Luis Wolbers is the most quintessential example. I can't tell you how many awesome photos that we saw from Luis. And so I really encourage you to go out and shoot as many photos as you can this month. Give yourself a 30 day challenge where, you know, if you generally produce, say, 10 photos into the contest, I want to see 20. And I want to see you continually shooting and continually producing more and more photos because that is the key. That experiment told us that it's not about getting into our head and getting into perfectionism and trying to create that one amazing shot. It's really about shooting as much volume as you can and being very deliberate about it, looking at your results and saying, oh, 
this is what happens when I try this technique. Or, oh, maybe next time, if I just try this different angle, I'll get a different result that'll be even more satisfying. Go out there, have fun shooting, and in the meantime, go to the Better Photo Contest winners and take a look at these wonderful, amazing photos. This is Better Photo Jim. Talk to you soon. Bye.